Rasputin. You can't be serious. We have no other options. Aramis has breached the Warsat Network security protocols. Soon, our most dangerous weapon will be in our enemy's hands. Once she issues the command to fire, not even I will be able to stop it. Our only choice will be to destroy the Warsat. All of them. The only way to do that is... Yes. Once I am uploaded to the orbital station, you must activate my self-destruct sequence. No! There must be another way! I have run trillions of combat simulations. They all end with the same result. My mere existence places humanity in danger. All that I am, every protocol, every line of code, must be erased forever. I must die, so others may live. I won't let you sacrifice yourself. I know. Clovis built me to be a weapon. To destroy my designated targets. But you... You taught me to be something more. A shield. A protector. A guardian. He gave me form. He gave me function. But you gave me purpose. Please help me fulfill that purpose now. Let me save humanity. I just got you back. And now I have to say goodbye. I've always been with you, Anna. And I always will be. We have no time to waste. Aramis has accessed Abhorrent Imperative, the protocol I created to... We use the Warsats against the Traveler and prevent its departure. I surmise that the Traveler is Aramis's target as well. My internal algorithm has repaired me to the point where my self-destruct sequence can be initiated once I am uploaded to the network. However, Aramis has discovered and sealed the back door we installed aboard the station. You must manually link me to the controls. Breach Seraph Station with the Pillory Engram in hand. The time for subterfuge is over. Haste is what matters now. If Aramis fires the war sect, the resulting devastation will be incalculable. There may be nothing left for the Hive to conquer. We cannot allow that to happen, Guardian. You must do what is necessary to prevent it. And so must I. Something's happening. Do you feel that? It's like a... a heartbeat. I feel... nothing. But there's activity in the city. In the tower. The Traveler is reacting. I don't like this. It's too... familiar. It is.
traveler is leaving. The war sets. Guardian, ever think about the things we pick up? People we latch on to as if something outside of us could tell us who we are? Like polishing a rusty name tag to a fine shine. Being a Bray defined me, for better or worse. I thought Rasputin was my link to who I was, that I could rediscover myself through him. I tried that for a long time, like he was a tool. It wasn't until later I understood he'd become a person. Rasputin was family. But now, he's gone. He sacrificed himself to save us. Clovis would never have done that. But I taught Rasputin to make his own decisions. In the end, he defined who he was and what he did. And so can I. I can carry on the Bray legacy. Not Clovis's, but mine. I can choose what it means to be a Bray. Just like Rasputin chose what it meant to be a Warmind. Goodbye, Red. For real, this time. Thank you for teaching me who I am. Who I could be. And who I want to become. was not in vain. I and I have shared our farewells. This will be hard on her, but she is resilient, strong, and she is not alone. I have a final message for you as well. The Neptunian city in Osiris's visions is real. 
I do not know its exact location, but it is home to the Veil, an object of immense paracausal power, one that is linked to the Traveler. The details are contained within the Nefele Stronghold files retrieved from the Cosmodrome. I have decrypted them for Osiris's benefit. Tell him... Tell him it is a parting gift. From one old miser to another. All other files referencing the city have been deleted from my records. And not by me. Someone wanted it to remain a secret. Anna once worried that she had neglected to teach me how to trust. But now, as my penultimate act, I entrust this knowledge to you. Use it well, my Seraph. Humanity has no more need of a war mind. Not when you have each other. <laughs>